Prosecutors are pushing to add more serious charges for the man accused in the second attempted assassination on former President Trump. They say Ryan Ruth wrote a chilling note about his plans to kill. Local 10's Roy Ramos is live in West Palm Beach where Ruth tried to get released on bond. Roy. Well, the defense tried, but ultimately no bond for Ryan Ruth. Federal investigators in court today saying that Ruth did not have any family down here in South Florida. He was not working down here at the time. They believe he was in this area for the sole purpose of assassinating the former president. 58-year-old Ryan Wesley Ruth will remain behind bars after a federal judge grants pretrial detention for the man investigators said attempted to assassinate former President Donald Trump. In court, federal prosecutors argued eyewitness testimony placed Ruth at Trump International Golf Course fleeing from a fence line near the six-hole putting green. It's there. A lead case special agent in the investigation testified Ruth waited for 12 hours with a rifle armed with 11 bullets and one in the chamber. On that gun, he said, was a scope attached with electrical tape where Ruth's fingerprint was discovered. In the bags of that gun is where investigators said he had metal plates to protect himself from return gunfire. Prosecutors also revealed Ruth allegedly wrote a handwritten letter stating his intention to kill the former president. The note addressed, Dear World, read, This was an assassination attempt on Donald Trump, but I failed you. I tried my best and gave it all the gumption I could muster. It is up to you now to finish the job, and I will offer $150,000 to whomever can complete the job. The note was left outside of an undisclosed home months earlier inside a box that also contained ammunition, a metal pipe, and four phones. Discovered in one of the phones was a Google search of a route from West Palm Beach to Mexico. In court, the defense argued that note shows an intentional attempt to fail at the assassination. They also claim there is no evidence he touched the gun. They say despite being arrested more than 100 times throughout his life, Ruth has always attended his court hearings and is no danger to the community. And Ruth is now being held in the Federal Detention Center in downtown Miami. He is expected back in court here in West Palm Beach on Monday. For now in West Palm Beach, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News. Roy, thank you. For more on today's hearing, stay with Local 10 and World News tonight with David Muir at 630. And